In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a fire, a fire hit beat for G Easy. So watch this video till the end, and I would say let's up straight into FL Studio. All right, all right, guys, something like that. All right, guys, I would say, and let's copy that shit over like this. And let's turn up this note right here, I think. I've done right here is I've just copied our uh, middle notes of our chords and I've paced them one octave below so we uh, add some low frequencies to our melody like without them you also have like low frequencies in it but I want more to make this melody sound full you know what I mean without adding like layers on layers on layers you know so that's our main melody right here I think some smooth shit yeah fire guys fire all right guys so I've uh, just uh, recorded our melody record to wave file right here so we save some CPU space and right now we just cut out the lows at 120 Hertz So we don't like cut out the complete lows of our uh, melody or of our or your sample. We just cut out a little bit to have to just make sure we have enough space for our 808 and our kick later in the end or some other low played percussions, drums, whatever. And then we add a little bit delay on it. Set the time knob to four steps, feedback to ping pong, and the volume knob in the empty area to around six or eight percent and a little bit of reverb on it and those uh, three effects I've literally add them to every single one of my melodies so I'm just gonna show to you uh, for this melody and not for the other melodies that I will add in this video so let's turn up the low cut a little bit delay yeah this, yeah, this sounds nice Alright guys, so yeah, let's go back into Omnisphere and let's see what we got in here. That shit is fire right here. And let's turn the velocity of those notes really, really quiet.
Alright guys, and now I would say uh, let's just add the equalizer 2 on our 808 real quick and let's drag up the mid frequencies of our 808 so people with bad speakers also can hear the 808 way way better right now and then we also cut out a little bit of the high frequencies because you don't really need high frequencies in your 808 you just need like mid frequencies and obviously low frequencies so uh, let's put a little bit reverb on our uh, snare that could be fire Hey guys, while I've created our uh, lead guitar melody, it was like so laggy and shit. So I've just decided to show you the melody right here. It's this wave file and the MIDI looks like this. So it's pretty simple. And right here the heights. But hey guys, which artist do you hear on this beat? Which artist do you hear on this beat? I think it's it's a little bit hard to tell right here. If you want to watch another video where I've also made a fire fire beat for G Easy for his new album, these things happen to hey, then check out that video right here on the screen. This beat that I made in that video. Also turn out like a fire fire hit beat. So go and check it out right now. And I would say we see us in two days. Hey.